Hello everyone, welcome back to All The Mod 7. Uh, I really should have started this after I slept. I've been on for a little while. Uh, and that's because I've been trying to leave this AFK slightly. Because... Oh, and I made this. Um, I'm trying to leave this AFK so we can get some antimatter. We haven't even got one yet. Oh, man. Um... I haven't left this AFK for too long, I must admit. But I have bumped this up to max burn rate. I don't know if that's a good idea. I'm just doing it purely for the uh, for the uh, nuclear waste, if I'm honest. I don't even remember what this bit is. What is this one? Oh yeah, this is for the fissile fuel. Um. Yeah, so I had a plan, and that was to use some ethylene and set up a bunch of the, the gas burning generators, because this is not making a brilliant amount of power. It's making decent power, I must admit. Um, and then I was like, well, I could just go and make uh, Small's brother over here, which uh, Small is my reactor from my season one. And yeah, this is basically the same setup as Small's Grand, but in a smaller fashion. But the issue is, this is only making 9k, whereas this over here, this turbine, is making 457k. So, I don't know what I did wrong. I, it looks like this is running... I don't know if I've set this up right. Let's... Uh... Let's turn it off and then set this all the way down. Pause. This is Phil from the future now. Uh, I forgot to mention that I will put all of the links to the guy's video, the guy that created the computer craft program for my reactor, in the video description. There is an update for it, so you have to do some weird stuff with Pastebin, uh, but he's linked that in his video description, so go and give him uh, a shout out and. Yeah, let's get back into it. I'm gonna... No, that's... Okay, right, let's turn this on again. Eh. So, energy last tick is all the way up. But yeah, it's still only making that amount. If I minimise this, it doesn't matter, because all the power is coming out anyway. So it looks like a 5x5, five five, which is what this uh, big reactor is, is only like nearly 10k worth of worth of power. So I was scrabbling around trying to think of another like power option, because I thought this would give us like ridiculous power, but obviously it's not. The turbine's giving us more power. Oh, and I think the one in the compact machine we've got here. Let's grab this out. That is giving us 1.3? No, 1.4? Wait, what's this giving us? Um, passive generation is 1.6. Uh, yeah, it's, it's making us like quite a lot. <laughs> it's still not enough though, because we need uh, a gig one gig which is probably like just one and a no two and a half of these uh, these reactors running at full power would give us one gig so yeah i i drastically underestimated the amount of power that we were going to get from all of this i think that's fine why have i got why have i got the uh is that ars nouveau down there the the little bar in the corner here that's, that's strange I only just saw that. And it's only in there. That's that's really weird. Right, anyway, all of this is super, super loud. But I think I have a plan, and my plan is to ignore it for now, and we'll just uh we'll just fly about using using our jetpack for a bit. So, uh I've got a list of mods that I want to go through, and I think I'm just gonna pick one at random. Okay, this is a bit of a weird one, 
But I didn't know which one to pick, so we've got a spinny wheel. Wheel of Fortune time, I think. So I've got all of the bits all laid out over here. Uh, something tells me I really... Oh, I've got to do it, right? Uh, I'm just going to capitalise everything. It's just, you know... Right, there we go. That looks a little better. Oh, almost, almost. And this one, I think, is like that. Looks better to me. Cool. Right, so we've got a bunch of stuff on here. So we've got Occultism. Be really cool to check that one out. We've got Nature's Aura. Uh, we've got Forbidden and Arcana. Elemental Craft, which I've never played with. That was in all the mods 6 and... I still don't think I played with it in all the mod six. Uh, we got AE two because we need to. I, I should put AE two dash for ATM star. Uh, does that fit? Yeah, it does. Just, just fits. Uh, so this would be purely to get the uh, things we need for the ATM star. So there is a thing from AE two that you need for the ATM star. So it would be an episode on working to get that. We've got Blue Skies, which is kind of an adventure, because it's a new dimension. We know how to get there. Uh, we've got Mahao to Sky. Or Mahao Sukai, I think people call it. Uh, people were trying to teach me how to say that in my previous series, but I don't think I ever got it. So <laughs> I've got bees on it three times because we really need to get into bees but I'm going to leave it up to chance if we do get into bees or not. Uh, we've got Botania and Industrial Foregoing at the bottom here. Um, they are the same weighting as like all of these ones here. So for Botania it would be killing the Gaia and we'd spend a couple of episodes on Botania trying to get to the point where we kill the Gaia or at least Gaia Mark II. Which is a slightly different fight. Uh, we got for industrial foregoing, that would be the enchantments, like I've been saying. And probably getting some ether gas and bits like that and doing some of the more in depth. Oh, in fact, I think when you get all of the. So for the power, I mean, from industrial foregoing, you can do the rain. Basically, it's the rainbow generator from uh, extra utilities from back in the day. Industrial foregoing has got like a um, a similar thing to that, so I might go for that if we do industrial foregoing. Occultism, I just want to explore the mod. Same with Nature's Aura, might summon the uh, the Nature's Aura boss. If there's any bosses we can summon, we'd we'll have to look into it. Forbidden and Arcana, we'll try and get the Stella Eternus. That'd be fun. And again, uh, Elemental Craft, I just need to get into it I suppose I've never played with it so that'd be fun so let's give it a spin see what we get uh... forbidden and arcana yeah and now we're gonna remove this and I'm gonna save this somehow <laughs> and yeah we'll we'll use this for next episode i think or whenever we are finished with forbidden and arcana all right there we go back in the game now so forbidden and arcana let's let's just crack into it so for it's going to be at forbidden and arcana so you've got a bunch of stuff in here i forgot about these barrels if i'm honest i wonder if the bug is still in place i haven't eaten from this yet actually oh, i need to and take all the food out of my backpack and just eat a bunch of different stuff. We do need a quantum catcher. Oh, we can really easily make a quantum catcher. Uh, yeah, we can just do this. Because, uh, yeah, the chunk destroyer, I think, does destroy spawners. <laughs> and it gives you the spawner scrap. So, let's... Where is our... Uh, I might have put my smithing table back in here. Smithing, yes. Uh, let's put you over here as well somewhere. Uh, fine. 
You can go there. Quantum catcher. So that's the ingredient for the ATM star done. I also want to get some Stellar Aternus. I'm sure there's like other amazing bits in this mod, to be fair. Oh, poop. I just had it. Forbidden. There we go. So these souls here. There is a way of getting them. I think you shear soul sand. So if we get some shears and we pop into the nether. She is all the way over here. Nether. Do I just right click it? Or is there special shears from... There's some way of getting... Uh, oh, okay, let's just do... Where's the book for this? Okay, I couldn't find the book, and it's not in this book thing here. The, uh, basically the Akashic Tome, but it's called something different in this. Yeah, uh, we can go make one of these, I believe. In fact, let's just go back to base. Oh, although we could have done it there, if we wanted to. Uh, all we're missing is this jar. Oh no, we need some of this wood. Where do we find this wood? Ooh. How do we... Yeah, there must be some way of getting this... This... Alden wood. Uh, okay. We'll probably have to go find it. Let me... Uh, let me... Actually, if we go in here, is there like a sapling? Oh, no, sapling. Cherry sapling. If I put that in there, it gets us cherry. That gets us mystery wood. Log. I don't think I've seen one of these yet. Okay, how do we get that wood then? After a load of googling, I did find... Oh, and it's already night time. Okay, give me a sec. There we go. Uh, if we go find a dark forest, so let's have a look on the map. Biomes are like massive in this uh, in this mod pack. Is that a dark forest? Do you think? It, it does say no. That is not a dark forest. Oh, what am I doing? Why am I looking when I've got a uh, got a nature's compass? Thank you very much. Okay, there's two dark forests. There's one in the twilight forest, and there's one in Minecraft. So, it's decent, decent amount away. That's fine, we can just zoom over there. I have got my uh, unobtainium backpack. Uh, jetpack. Uh, why do I keep saying backpack? You guys know what I mean. Okay, we are there, but nothing's loaded in yet. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, things are loading in now. Whew. That was uh, scary. It's these ones here. No. So these are the ones we can chop down, I believe. Thank you. What are these sticks used for? Oh, it's to make the, the pick and stuff. Okay, well, we'll keep hold of a few of those. You only get two out of this. Oh. Bit of a rip in it. Uh, I should really get a axe for this. Let's get this one out. Yeah, I'm just gonna probably run around and try and find as much of this wood as I can. Whilst I was looking, I did find this, and I was like, "Ooh, a." Uh, this is a village. It's not a village though, is it? This is actually a mine colony. There you go, there's a, a builder right there. That's pretty cool. Oh, you know what? If we'd have found this one first... I don't know, I quite like where we built. It looks quite nice. Oh, there is a village over there as well. And it's got a waystone. Yes, please, let's grab that. 
pop back to base. Easy enough. Right, what we can do now is I am just going to convert these. We are going to make one of these. And we're going to get a soul extractor. We need this because uh, I don't have any soul sand, remember, because I, I kind of obliterated all of the soul sand that we had. So this is what you need, not shears. There you go. So using this, I think it's got a certain charge limit. It does. We can do that. And I'm going to get like 20 souls from this soul sand. It turns it into soulless sand, which is brilliant. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go around and get this stuff because we need this later on. Okay, I only got 10, but still. That's 10 souls that we're going to use. So you can turn them into these dark souls. Sounds difficult to me. Uh, so instead, we are going to focus on a different thing. Okay, never mind. We've already got these bottles. So we're going to use some of these bottles. Let's grab those souls again. We might need a few more of these, but yeah. So the next one, I th oh, we don't want that. We want... I think it's a dagger. Where you go, this this thing, mystical dagger. So we need one of these. So we need some. Okay, let's just do some of that. I turned all of my. Oh, I wonder if these carved ones would work. I doubt it though. I might need to go grab another one of these. Uh, why did I do this? Yeah, no, that doesn't work. Okay, let me grab some more of that. Okay, now I think we can put one of these in. Oh yeah, it's instant. It goes in here. There you go. That matter. Dark rune, easy enough. We need to make some corrupt dust. Oof, okay. Obsidian ingot. Oh, this is quite a bit of a... Uh... Yeah, that, that'll do us. Oh, God. So, no, get rid of that. This needs... This, which is arcane dust, which comes from. Oh, you can. Can you just smelt it? Yeah. Okay. Let's get like a few of these. Done. And what was the last one? Blaze powder. Cool. We can make that. Cool. You get a decent amount of that as well. Uh, I've got some of these runes. I think they they spawned. That we've got 6k, so that's good. And now the last thing is this arcane gold, so we need some of this. And luckily, I have that there. Oh, yeah, we've got tons of. Uh... Wait, what? Was that only one? No, it is only one. Huh. Nice. I think this dagger means that we can use uh, the vials. Oh god, where's the vials gone? Right, I'm going to teach bottles to this, because for the, the vials, these things, test tubes, that's what they're called. These things here, we need, well, test tubes. And in fact, what I'll do is I'll make this one as well. Uh, this does go off the screen, by the way, that's why I haven't been showing it, but I've got a couple of creative crafters right there. Uh, and now we can do... 64 of them, although that might have been really stupid. I think you only take one. Ah, it's fine. We got the resources. Right, there we go. We got our... They only stack up to 16, and it is night time, which is good for us, because it means that we can go kill stuff with this dagger. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that spawns. I think it's because... Um... There you go, a little bit of blood in there. They spawn all out, out here because they can't spawn in here, so it gives like more of a spawn over this bit. Can I can I hit you Hello? Can I hit you once or twice and, and then murder you? Oh yeah, nothing can hurt me. Maybe I want to kill the doggos first. 
Nah, we're good. Right, I'm gonna have to kill a bunch of these to get like a load of blood. Okay, there we go. We might have enough right there. Uh, what what was the last one? Bottles of enchanting, I think, is the last one we need. Is there any good ways of getting bottles of enchanting? Mythical agriculture. Mm. Uh, we can use honey. Infusion. Ooh. Oh wow. Yeah, if you, you've got a bunch of this uh, Eterna stuff, you can get 32 bottles of... Oh, okay. Ah, oh, we could do that as well. We could level up a Cleric to level 3. Then we can get bottles of enchanting. Don't want to do that. Never mind. We could just make a fluid encapsulator. There we go. Easy enough. Just encapsulate it down here. I did make enough. This, this is. I'm just overusing the uh, entangler porters. Entangler porters are the new flux points. But yeah, uh, I put this down here, and I'm doing import from the back. In fact, I could get a. Let's get a draw. Uh, that's got. Oh, that's got stuff in it. Oh, I like that. That it shows the contents. Oh, I don't know. One of these, maybe? What one? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. So, we can set that to output out the top. And there we go. Making ourselves some bottles of enchanting. And in fact, we can lock that. And easy peasy. So, these are the next thing that we need. And I think that's all the bits we need. Now we need to build an altar somewhere. Not entirely sure where we should do it. I was kind of thinking... We can't really do it underneath, can we? Because this is a bit of a shambles. Oh, it's loud, isn't it? Maybe for now we do it in this area. Because this area is... Why is there a grass block? Enderman. Yeah, we do it in this area because this is a bit just weirdly cut out. Okay, this is what we've got. I'm not going to go for chunk boundaries or anything, because we're only going to do this once, I hope. Uh, so we want to do something like this. And this is us setting the forge up. Oh god, where did the other ones go? I think here? That's kind of about right. There and there. Like that. I think that's how it works. Right. Let's chuck these in the middle as well. Ow, oh, come on. Did I not do that right? I think I... Am I missing a few? Kind of looks right to me. I'm just missing three of them. And there we go, we've got three. One, two, and three. And then the last two things is you put this in the middle and you shift right click and there is the forge. Awesome. So we kind of need to upgrade this. So we need a level two. So put these ones in. That's not what I wanted you to do. Yeah. Put those in the side here like that. Perfect. I think we got these from a chest, by the way, so if you're looking for these, there is a recipe for them. You need to get regen 2 potions, which isn't that bad in this, you just need some gas tears. Uh, but yeah, anyway, we need to upgrade this to level 4 if we want to make the Stellar Eternus. And you need a ton of each of them. Required forge level one. Interesting. Pedestal. Right, anyway. So now we need to make some pedestals, funny enough. Uh, they're in here somewhere. So it's not the pillars. Okay, we do need quite a bit of these pedestals and then, yeah, sorry, the pillars which we then turn into pedestals. So I might go and teach this to my system really quick. Okay, I should be able to just auto-craft eight of these now. And they... oh, wow. 
they, yeah, I forgot they would insta-craft because I put them in the creative crafters. So we stick all of these down. Not sure this is necessary, uh, but we can put all of these other bits in and about. It takes a while for that, that one there to fill up. I might not have enough of this. Ooh, and I need loads more experience, but that's fine. We've got our bottler up here. Right in here. I thought these stacked up to 16 as well. Oh, well, that's good. Uh, yeah, we might need some more blood. Okay. Oh, we just managed to get there with the, the blood that we had. Awesome. Right, now what we can do... I th think... This is the recipe we need, so let's grab all of these bits. Actually, how many was it of these? One, two, three. Eh, one, two, three. Uh, we need one of these, uh, what are they called? Stellarite pieces. And a diamond. Diamond. We've got a few diamonds. Just 329k. It says 329 there. It must round up. That's strange. Anyway, so I believe what you do is you put the diamond in the middle. I don't know if it matters where you put these bits. Oh, I need a wooden gavel as well, I believe. Is it one of these? I think it is one of these, you know. Let's do that and then that. And then you right click that, it sucks up all of this stuff, and it has this pretty amazing animation. Takes its time. Uh, I might have enough of. Oh, I just right clicked it again. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, it's taking the blood. Is it just blood that it's using? So it requires 82 of the aura, a thousand blood, no experience, one soul, 82 of the aura. We've got enough in there, perfect. And it's just taking its sweet time. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'll be back when this is hopefully done. Ah, it wasn't that far off being done to be fair, but there you go, there's a Stellar Eternus. Ah. And you know what we could do with that? Still got it in there, but it's not there. That's a visual glitch, I think, right now. Is it the uh, smithing table or is it the anvil? I think it's the smithing table. Okie dokie. So let's get... Did I never make a unobtainium charm? I did not make an unobtainium charm. Brilliant. Okay, well, we'll make one of those now. Interesting, I just got the quest for Unobtainium Sight Potion. The, the quest did get updated in uh, the recent patch. So I was just looking for them today, actually. And there's a ton of quests. So there's a welcome quest. That gives you the quest book and some experience. For some reason it just gave me this. It's got an Iron Sight Potion now. Brilliant. We are going to make this. I've already made these two, but uh, I use the upgrade, so I need to pick them up if I do that. And diggy hole. Okay, right, we'll come back to that later. Anyway, so let me uh, let me go and make this, and we'll be back in a sec. Right, there we go. There is our X-ray charms. Amazing, and it's in the smithing table. We can. S Wrong way around. Is it like that and then like that? Eternal Charm of Unobtainium Sight. And this will never run out. We just need to have it on our person. I can't think of any other things I should do that for. Um, We could do it on 16 shears. And then we can remove all of the exporters on these. Although we need importers for the uh, vacuum layers, I suppose. 
Ah, but it's only a little bit of iron. I, I don't really mind that. Yeah, I'm not sure what else we uh, we would need. Oh, now it's raining. You know what? I'm going to go say hello to my little friend out here. There we go. Yeah, I don't know what else we, we would need from that, if I'm honest. That's how you get the Eternal Stellar. Still got it in there for some reason. That's fine. We'll leave that for now. We can make a couple more of these if we think of things that we could use. Uh, anything on our person? Yeah, none of these take durability, do they? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, uh, maybe we could put like a bunch of it on some wooden tools. You get like... Oh, if we figure out a way of automating this... We might have to just stick around and just keep doing it over and over and over with the wooden gavel. But yeah, if we figure out a way of getting like a bunch of these, we can make some wooden tools and we can pass them out to our villagers. And they will never complain about not having the correct tools. I'm saying wooden because that means that the level ones can use them. You know, like level one builder and so on. Uh, right, anyway. What else is there to offer in Forbidden and Arcana? Okay, I think the two things that we're definitely going to need is this arcane dragon egg. Which means we need to get some of these dragon scales. So I have already put the automated craft in here for the uh, arcane gold, but we can also chuck this one in one of our crafters. Let's do that. We've only got four right now, so we can't make the dragon egg, but we can make four of these at least. So there's, there's the one that we need uh, outside of the craft that we're going to need to do which is this one here. We need the Dragon Soul. And this is used in the ATM star. So, yeah, we need one of these and then the Dragon Egg. And I think the Dragon Egg, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oof. So we need three more of the Dragon Scales. So we can go and find some more Dragon Heads. Do we ever find a Dragon Head, actually? No, we didn't. Okay. Fair enough. Well, we'll have to either go find a dragon head or figure something out to get... We might have to fight the dragon again, to be fair. If we're going to fight the dragon, we need to do one of these data models. And we'll bang out, like, multiple of them. Yeah, I think that that's the plan right there. So, for now, I'm going to say that one's good. I'll... Check the all the mod star, see if there's any others. So there is the Oblivion Shard, which we are missing a Rose of Oblivion. You need to go into the end to find one of those. I don't think it would be that hard to find, but the rest of it we can easily do. So we need to make these Dark Nether Stars, but remember we've got a ton of Nether Stars coming in now. Nether Star, we over 12k of Nether Stars, so we're fine on that one. Uh, in in fact, let's just make the 18 that we're going to need. And they're done. Easy. <laughs> yeah, so these can be used in instead of nether stars if, if you for some reason have more dark nether stars. I don't know, maybe you do for some reason. But yeah, uh, that... If we convert those quick... That is for the... Oblivion Shard. What's this one here? Nether Star Block times three. Uh, let's see if we've got enough to do that. Yeah. There's the first one right there. Is that the second one? Yeah, that one's the second one. That's the third one, and this is the one that we're going to need, right? Is it times three? We need 15 of these overall. So if we chuck them in here, I've done no maths on this. So I don't think we've got enough. Uh, 
15, go. It says we were able to do it, but only one of these is half of the nether stars that we've got. Might need to amp up our production on nether stars. Uh, not sure how we're going to do that, but this thing's going as quick as it can. I'm at maximum potential. This gets one every single time, basically. Uh, same with our slimes. Nice. Okay, well, I think we'll have to leave that one for now. What else have we got in here? So the catchers we've already got, or we can make easy enough. Oh, this one's awesome. We can use our solar recharging units that we made. I made way too many of them. Ah, amazing. It wasn't a waste. I mean, that one wasn't a waste. The, the like, 23 others that I did are a waste, but still. I'm glad that that one's in there. <laughs> Need to make a charm of knowledge. Ancient knowledge, which comes from... Oh, we can do that. We've got bottles of enchanting. All good. I think we are okay for now, then. With a compass. Need to get into that. No. We need three gravitational... No, oh, well, you're kidding me. That's a lot of antimatter right there. Because that's like nine antimatter for that. And there's a couple of other bits in the ATM star that require antimatter. Oh... It's like 12 antimatter overall that we need for the ATM star. My goodness. Okay. <laughs> we'll have to think about that then. I feel like we do need to sort our power out a little bit. Maybe a bigger turbine? I might do it. Or... We could always do this thing outputting... Some steam and have it in another turbine and just have like a bunch of turbines that would work hmm. and we also want to make one of those gravitational units for ourselves. so it's like 15 that we need overall oh man oh that's that's going to be a lot of uh antimatter that we still need to make i might need to amp up my production over here uh, I could do with like a couple more of these. There's nothing stopping us from making a couple of compact machines and almost filling them up. And then what we can do is input fissile fuel and amp up our fissile fuel production. And then we can use the entangled block on this block here to output all of the nuclear waste into the barrel we can have like three of these and oh, this is stock because it's night time oh right anyway let, let's call that an episode for now uh i will quickly show you the stats i can grab it 5.29 days and this is all i've achieved brilliant Right, well, thank you for watching, thanks for joining, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.